So a quick walk round of the Ariba Troll 540 GT. Um, ours has a trailer hitch um, and a lock there as you can see. All the rest is standard. There's a cabinet in the front. Which lifts like that with a gas bottle and a spare and some wheel chocks. That's the um, access for the toilet set. Um, they're the standard wheels that came with it. Power supply, water plug in supply. Um, pretty light so these handlebars are actually quite useful because you can move it by hand if you need to. Um, that's with the top up at the moment and as you can see we've got the um, wiring there for the solar panel and there's a, the uh, chimney exit point there for the heater and there's a little extension even it goes on top of that or particularly windy days. An outside light with an automatic sensor, so it'll come on as you approach the van in the evening. There is a locker on this side, which has the sun canopy in it, chairs, chocks, and a tool bag. This is a mounting point for the table. Um, I'll show you that, the table that's inside the secondary table. And they're both vents. The step folds away. Travel. Door locked back into place. There's a bin here, split into two halves for recycling, storage in the door. And then this is the small eating area here, and this table detaches to either make into a bed, across there and there, and the leg folds, or that table can be attached outside on that mounting point. So there's a nice view to the window when two people sit and have their breakfast or their dinner. Um, as you'd expect, there's fly screen across the door and the roof is up. So the canopy is exposed at the moment and you can see there are several zip points. That one's closed, that's open to allow a bit of through flow of air. That's the top of the toilet, come to that in a moment. And then the canopies, as you can see, zip open as far down as you need. And the, you can also remove the Velcro entirely, so you're into the outside, as it were. And that seals. And coat hangers. Toilet area. With the etched glass, blinds, and the toilet there. And that's our water barrel storage just for during transit. And the top is this kind of canopy area that comes down and the mirror slides down with it as well. You've got various cupboards inside and cupboards underneath. Very well fitted. Uh, towel hanging on the back of the door main seating slope, stroke seating area, sleeping stroke seating. This makes into a full width bed. Um, the table moves away into storage and the storage underneath the beds and the bed slides out and they meet in the middle and you make the bed up. And that's easily removable if you don't want to keep the cupboard at the bed head, then that can easily be removed. At the moment that has the curtains in there and blinds as you can see we've taken the curtains and blinds down um, we don't particularly like them but 
There's still the insect blinds there and there's still the blackout blinds, just not the dress curtains. And there are the curtain tie back points that are still in place. Cupboards all the way around, overhead, and light fittings, touch sensitive, um, two settings I think, for memory. And then two burner gas hob and fridge. Locking catch, power point underneath, and then drawers for cutlery, etc., and more storage underneath there. So, lots of storage under there in the little end pockets, there and there. Storage under that seat, small pocket down there, cupboards up above there, and storage under both beds. So, quite a bit of storage actually. Um, and then I left out the um, remote control to remind me to tell you about the auto parker power mover, whatever you want to call it, which is fitted to the vehicle on both wheels there and drives the vehicle forwards and backwards just on electric. So there you have it. Apologies for the quality of the video, I hope it's given you a good sight of the uh, inside.